James Smith from In This Corner TV at the Mirage Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. The WBC convention, the 52nd annual WBC convention. One of the things missing is, well, the former president, the late great Jose Suleiman, now in place, his son Mauricio, and one of the great legacies of the WBC has been their own charity, WBC Cares. Well, continuing in the spirit of Jose, they went out to Richard Steele's gym where the WBC continues to care about the kids. Hi, my name is Jill Diamond and I chair WBC Cares. We're an international organization, a philanthropy made up of compassionate volunteers around the world. We go into hospitals, youth centers, gyms, anywhere there's a disaster that needs help, we're there for you. We are so honored to have the WBC here at our local gym. It's the 52nd WBC annual convention. Luckily, it was in Las Vegas, and every year the WBC does an event where they, they reach out and they give back to nonprofit organizations who are supporting boxing and youth. And that's what we do here at the Richard Steele Foundation. Um, the founder, referee, International Boxing Hall of Fame referee Richard Steele founded this organization to give back to at-risk youth. Um, just as he was, boxing changed his life and he wants to pay that forward for other youth. And with the WBC here backing us and supporting us and having all of these champions, Iran Barkley, Bone Crusher Smith, I mean, this means the world to our kids and it actually means the world to us as an organization. We have great people that really love boxing and really love human beings and young people. That is the reason why we were able to hold this event. In the future, we even, all of our kids, we're trying to get scholarships going to college. We're sending them to college. After they get out of the high school, they go to college. But they can still be a member here because we always have to take care of our bodies. We always got to take care of our bodies, minds, and, you know, be a good human being. That's what we teach here at Richard Steele Foundation. He trains children, but he also teaches them about education, reading, discipline, all of the social values that we all believe in. Because a gym is more than a gym. Sometimes it's your father, sometimes it's your family, sometimes it's your mentor. And a good gym teaches you everything you need to know in life, and that's what they do here. Well, we know that there's a lot of community issues out there. Um, one of the things that are really close to us is childhood obesity. It's a major problem, and we were looking to solve problems like that. So we do that with our boxing, fitness, and competitive track. Um, we also focus on education. Um, education is really the key, right? We want our kids to be uh, fit, and we want them to be motivated, and we want them to be bad in the ring, right? But we want them to be good in school. And so we have a tutoring program and a remediation program for those of our youth who need help in those areas. Um, otherwise, we mentor, and we do a community outreach as well. We were able, with our partnership with the organization called Three Square, provide turkeys and Thanksgiving dinners for all of our families here at the Richard Steele Foundation and Boxing Club. And through great partnerships and our great families, uh, we're, we're hoping that we can eradicate some of those major issues that are going on in our world. Boxing is one way for people to change their circumstances. I mean, when you walk in the ring, you risk more than an opinion, more than a decision, you risk your life. In order to do that, you have to really, really need and want to win. Some people, though, get into it for discipline problems, they get into it for community, they get into it for structure, they get into it for a sense of family. And Jose Suleiman understood all of that. And he devoted himself to the sport, and then he devoted himself to helping the community through the sport. You know, poverty is real. I mean, we have kids all the time who are hungry, who are out there, they don't have a hand up. And boxing is that sport for a lot of people that they, I mean, it's, it's something that they can do. Um, it's, it's reachable, it's attainable. You don't need a, very much equipment to do it, right? But it is a way out for kids. It was a way out for my father, referee Richard Steele. It was a way out for him. He found boxing and then was able to turn his life around, travel all over the world. Being committed to his fitness, being committed to the sport, 
I mean, we have to really work hard in this boxing family to keep boxing alive. You know, I would call for every major city out there to, to really take a look at their boxing gyms and make sure that they're supporting those gyms. If you want to know more about WBC Cares, you can go to our website, www.worldboxingcares.com, or go to the WBC Boxing website. There's always somebody there. We always answer every letter, and we care about you, and that's the truth. It's not our job to make people into champions, but we'd like to help them live like champions.